When working on an Excel worksheet, you may find yourself setting up different display settings at other times, such as zoom level or window position and size. The custom views feature allows you to set up and save different views to switch among them quickly. For example, you may want to set up a temporary zoom in the worksheet to see more details or hide parts of the Excel interface to maximize your workspace in addition to hiding the ribbon. You can set up a different view for each worksheet and save each view. We already opened the Custom Views workbook. As you can see, there's a data list with three columns, name, phone, and address. We want to filter that list, so it will display only the persons whose names start with the letter A. Click any cell within the list. Go to the Home tab, click Sort and Filter, then Filter. Click on a name column filter arrow, text filters, and begins with N. In the criteria box, type in A letter and OK. My list is ready and filtered. Let's zoom in on the View tab and zoom to selection. Too much zoom! Let's decrease it. OK, now I'm ready to create a custom view. Before setting up any custom views, it's a good idea to save the current normal view as custom view so you can quickly revert to it. From the View tab and Workbook Views section, click Custom Views. Click the Add button, type in the name of the view. I have filter settings in the sheet, so leave both of the boxes checked. And OK, of course. The next step is to reset my worksheet as it was previously. So set the zoom level back to normal and remove the filter. Now let's try our custom view. Go back to the View tab and click Custom Views. Select this and click the Show. The view we made is ready. Of course, you can create as many custom views as you want. So the custom view is a great feature, especially for presentations. Custom views are only available in the workbook in which you create them, and they are saved as part of the workbook. They are also worksheet specific, meaning that a custom view only applies to the active worksheet when you created the custom view. When you choose a custom view for the show of the workbook that is not currently active, Excel activates the worksheet and applies the view. So you must create custom views for each worksheet in each workbook separately, and make sure that you save your workbook with your custom views.